All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start building kind of the foreground and kind of layering in some of the, the forest floor that goes along with this drawing. Again, the, the point here is, is that we're trying to add some depth and some richness to, to the drawing. And so one of the best ways to do that is to go grab the actual forest floor. And so you see an image here of the forest floor. And so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and activate this layer. So it's a layer zero. Then I'm going to use my magic wand, tolerance set to 32. And I want to get rid of all the tree trunks, and so that's really what I'm aiming for here initially, is that really try to get rid of the tree trunks, get rid of the leaves as best we can. See how much of that leaf litter, all that green, I can kind of get out of here. Because really what I'm after in the end is just this brown, kind of the forest floor component. And so kind of delete some of that out. Once I've got a layer that kind of, you know, it looks messy here, but I'm going to pull out a big eraser. And I'm going to try and clean up anything that looks like a hard edge to this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw, drag and kind of see if I can't layer this in on top of itself a few times. See if I can't kind of create some patch of this that kind of looks like forest cover. You can see I'm kind of zooming in. It's just a, you know, we're creating a backdrop here. That's all we're doing. So I've, I've got something that generally, you know, provides me with some forest cover. And so what I'm going to do real quick is that I'm just going to go ahead and merge the visible layers. And I'm going to copy these into my other drawing. Once they're here, all that these are intended to do is just provide me with some background. And so I actually want this down below everything else I've been working on. Because it's it actually needs to kind of hide out here. Maybe not quite below that. Uh, let's work off of this one. So there we go. Uh, so I actually need this. It's under video three at the bottom. So I, I want it behind that white layer that I've created. Or I want it in front of that. And so I actually need to go ahead and reorder so that I've got mine set up that way. But realistically here, I can even go ahead and, and just adjust the size. I'm just trying to kind of add some texturing. Maybe I'll start at the back. Maybe that would be the way to go. Um, oops. Uh, there we go. Again, maybe just try and add some of this in. I'm not trying to be real fancy with it. I'm just trying to get some backdrop here behind it a little bit. All right. Right, and you can see that it kind of adds something other than kind of the texture that we had going there before um, into the drawing. And so at least that way I've got kind of laid, you know, laid into the background. But what I'm going to do again is that these ones that were kind of towards the back, I'm going to start back here at the back. I'm going to go ahead and change these up. Make those a little bit lighter. Oops. Put this one a little bit lighter. Kind of work my way forward a little bit. And I can actually use the, oops, I can select those out just by grabbing them with the marquee tool. Anything that's kind of hanging out towards the back, I just want to lighten up. Again, you want to get lighter, darker in the front, working towards lighter in the back. Again, this just provides me with something that we're going to go ahead and layer over the top of. Because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and grab um, one other image, and it's that comes from our background trees layer. And see, I've got all this great imagery right here. So this whole space right here. And somebody use that polygon lasso tool again. And I'm just going to go ahead and see how much this I can kind of grab real quick. Something like that. Copy this. And let's see if I can't bring this back into my main drawing. Kind of. See if I can't scale this about where I want it. And again, I'm going to kind of add, oops, there we go. My, oops, it would help if I actually went the other way with that. If I start kind of maybe closer to the back, then kind of drag it forward a little bit. Maybe make, shrink that down. So again, what I'm basically doing is I'm just trying to fill in here along the path, just trying, oops, 
try and add some additional uh, just some additional information there you know again I'm kind of filling in around the edges maybe I pull one of these over here kind of sneak it in behind some of that leaf litter maybe there maybe I really don't like that I'm getting a lot of repetition of that same kind of tree stump here that you see kind of repetition jumping in and so maybe I just go ahead and erase that piece out of that drawing a couple of times just kind of again the leaf litter behind it kind of helps clear it up but maybe we go ahead and just let it only be there on the front image and we just kind of clean up some of that some of this with the eraser again just kind of layering some information in all right so now we've got some stuff going there and then the last one I'm going to go grab is just a texture. It's got some flowers on it. Um, so I'm going to go grab the same thing that we've been doing, except here, just activate the layer. I'm going to do a quick selection of just these. I'm going to delete everything else out. And then I'm going to use the eraser tool here too, but the big sponge isn't going to cut it for me. And so what I actually want to do is I want to use something that looks much more like the vegetation. And so you can see I can grab this eraser that allows me to go ahead and kind of punch in a texture that looks much more like the image itself. And so I'm going to kind of work that around the edges. I'll come back to the top here in just a second and show you what I want to do there. But again, you kind of see that I'm just going to kind of go ahead and erase with a pattern to it. I'm going to, around the corners, you don't really want straight lines and corners in your drawing. And so I'm kind of getting rid of that there. When I get to the top, though, I really want to change down to a different scale. I want something smaller, finer. And so I, I move way down in scale on that eraser. So from 136 down to about 30. Just kind of break up that edge across the top. Again, I'm just holding down with the mouse. Then I'm going to come in with kind of a soft eraser, and I'm going to go ahead and delete out some of this other information there. And the whole point is, is I just want to capture kind of, you know, this floating texture that I'm going to use in the drawing. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to bring it all back in. I'm going to drop it in. And I want this to come to the front realistically. And so I'm going to bring it all the way up, probably not in front of my path because that would defeat the point but drop that one in about like that and again you kind of see where maybe there's room to do a little bit more erasing here and so maybe go ahead and grab the eraser again and kind of clean up any sharp corners that might exist I'm also going to drag one of these underneath the path here so that it kind of matches and again as you move back in the drawing, it tends to shrink it down a little bit. It'll make it look like you're kind of walking through the forest. You know, the perspective looks right that way. And so again, now we've got a forest floor. We've got a path. We've got a background. It's all kind of blurring together. And I'll go ahead and stop there and pick up with the next video.